are not where you're supposed to be because of you. It's all you. I think that the best thing you can possibly do as a man is prepare for the endless difficulty that's going to come your way. There's no, there's no way out as a man. You're either going to have a very difficult life to become somebody important, or you're going to suffer the difficult to be, difficulty of being invisible. What do you want to do? You want to be invisible and just hide and, and work in Starbucks and never have a girlfriend who truly loves you and nobody care if you live or die? Or do you want to go out there and be top G and be the most famous man in the world and have government agencies trying to lock you up for no reason, putting you in a dungeon? You have to make a choice. It's going to be difficult either way. You tell yourself lies, reasons. I'm too tired. I need to rest. I'm too hungry. I'm too full. Something else is more important. Lies. I don't have time. Lies, 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 lies. People ask where discipline comes from. I tell them it comes from within. But there's a deeper level. Discipline comes from the truth. Framework of discipline. And if you lie to yourself, you will not find discipline. The truth is that you know. You know you could do more. You know you could be more. That's what's driving you crazy. All your excuses are lies. The truth will set you free. The truth delivers discipline. But the truth is, you have time. You have the skill. You have the knowledge and the willpower and the discipline to get it done. Don't really want to work out? I work out. Don't really want to hammer on a project? I hammer on a project. Don't really want to get up and get out of bed? I get up and get out of bed. Don't give in to the immediate gratification that is whispering in your ear. Shut that down. Do not listen. Instead, go through the motions. Lift the weights. Sprint the hill. Work on the projects. Get out of bed. We got the same ending. We're going to die. So if you know you're going to die, why are you playing it safe? Like if you know you're going to die, why are you listening to other people tell you about your life? If you're going to die, why don't you live your own life? You're going to die anyway. Don't die on your grandma's turn. You're going to die anyway. Don't die on your friend's turn. You're going to die anyway. Don't die on your parents' turn. If you're going to die, die on your own terms. Anybody can do the sh they want to do when they feel like doing. Anybody could show up to work and give 100% when they're in the mood to do so. But what happens on the days that you don't feel like killing? What happens on the days you don't feel like going to the gym? What happens on the days that you don't feel like getting out of bed? Because those are the fucking days that are going to define where you end up in your life. Nobody wakes up in the morning every day of their life fired up. The reason I'm successful is because I execute whether I have the fucking fire or whether I don't have the fucking fire. And that's discipline. That's discipline to do the sh that you don't want to do because you know it needs to be f***ing done. What happens is you have all these voices that are telling you you're f***ed up and this could be hard, but for some reason you put so much practice into you that you can ignore every one of them that are telling you you're not going to f***ing make it and still be able to f***ing make it. You do something away from the normality of what you've been doing. Why not try it, man? Shock the system. Get up at four in the f***ing morning one day. Just one day. And go for a f***ing run. Commit to one day. And see how you feel as you're jogging it back in around five or something. As your neighbors are still asleep. Well, your day's already provided something for you. Mentally, you'll feel like, wow, man, that was a f***ing lie. When everybody else says, no, this is not comfortable. We shouldn't do this. You say, yes, motherfucker. I'm going to introduce myself to it. When we talk about regret, I can 1,000% guarantee you that how you feel about your life at the end of your time here is going to come down to your ability to cultivate discipline. It's going to come down to you developing the ability to do the things that you don't feel like doing because you know that it's the right thing to f***ing do. Because we all what we repeatedly do every day. Therefore, excellence is not an accident, but a habit. It's habitual. It's in us every single day. The people that are top movie stars over and over and over again, that's not that lucky. They train it to win it, to earn it over and over again. You gotta do your best work when you're the least motivated. So those days you don't wanna do it, guess what you gotta do? You gotta suck it the f up and do it.